Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about test on a pressure relief valve. Now, to understand the working of pressure relief valve, here I am going to build one circuit by which you can actuate the double acting cylinder. And on that double acting cylinder, we are going to apply the wearing load. If you look at the specification of double acting cylinder, which is given here. Now cracking pressure is set 10 bar and if you apply the, if you go to the first force curve, here I am going to apply the force for the extension, means at uh, zero position there is a no load, when cylinder is going to extend from zero to hundred percent, the load is going to increase from zero to ten thousand deca newton. the load is linearly increasing at the time of extinction. Now with the help of the dynamic measurement, I am going to measure that how much cylinder get extended for the different cracking pressure. In other words, we have to check that how much cracking pressure is required for the full extension of the cylinder. Pressure relief wall is going to maintain the pressure up to the cracking pressure by sending the excess amount of fluid to the reservoir. Now for the cracking pressure 10, if you look at here, what is the linear position? 37.5 means 30 our stroke of the cylinder is 300 mm, but only 37.5 mm cylinder is going to extend. Now for the next set for the 20 bar, 20 bar the cylinder is going to extend up to the 69 mm. Now for the 30 bar cracking pressure, how much cylinder get extend? See here. Our cylinder stroke is 300 mm, but our cylinder is extend only 105.5 mm. Okay, now for the cracking pressure 40, for the cracking pressure 40, it is extending up to. One thirty one mm. Only one thirty one millimeter cylinder is going to extend. Now I am checking that here for what pressure the cylinder is going to extend hundred percent. That is three hundred mm. For sixty again, it is not possible to extend hundred percent. Now if I check. Uh, cracking pressure is 90 bar again not cylinder is not going to extend full suppose if I set the cracking pressure 120 bar the cylinder is now fully extended for 120 bar the cylinder is going to fully extend means the to operate the cylinder effectively we have to set the cracking pressure is equal to 120 bar Thanks for watching this video. I hope all of you get idea about how the cracking pressure matters for the system. Thank you very much.